Hello friends, myself Amar. In this video, I will discuss what is path transition. Path transition means moving a particular object along complex path. Okay. To do that, what I have done as usual, I have taken a circle, and here I have taken a path also where your object will move. Now this path is invisible because I have made this visible, invisible, right? Let me make it true. See, this path is visible. What I want to do is that this object, this circle, will move along this complex path, right? If you want to change this complex path, then by going to its properties, if you expand this, then you can change different different properties of this. Means how you want to organize this complex path that you can change from these 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 properties, okay? So here by default I am taking this path. Now let me make it uh, invisible. Okay. Now I have taken the ID of these two controls in my controller. That is for path the ID is P. For circle the ID is circle. Okay. For doing path transition we have the path transition class. Duration is four. And here the first parameter is taking along which path you want to move your object. And the second one is which object you want to move, right? After that, set cycle count is indefinite, and I have started the play, right? Now let me execute this. See, if you maximize this, it is moving in that path, right? If you remember the path which we have taken in the scene builder, it, the object is moving in the same way. Let me show you one more thing. Suppose you want to move the object in a circle path. Okay, what I will do is that. Let me take. Let me take a ellipse here. Okay, I am taking a ellipse. Okay, and what I want is that I will move this along this ellipse path in the code. What I am doing, I am changing the ID to ellipse. Okay, save from view from this option. I am taking this ID, copy, then paste it here. Okay, import this ellipse class, and now I am taking this ellipse here. Because in this path I want to move it, right? Save now, run. See, now it is moving in the ellipse, and I have not made this invisible. That's why this ellipse is visible here. See, this object is moving in the ellipse direction, right? This is how we can. Drag and drop different kinds of shapes here, and you can move this object as per that particular shape, right? That's it. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.